Wednesday everybody, big welcome to the Wednesday live class here at Case Flair School. My name is Jeanette, for anybody that hasn't met me before, and we have Deirdre behind the camera, give them a big I'm here. <laughs> so obviously if anybody is new here, the whole idea of our free live classes is that you interact, you join in with us, okay, and we'd love you to share our videos. So first of all, to get the ball rolling, let us know who's watching and where are you watching in from. So what's the plan for today? So last week we did pocket buttonholes and everybody absolutely loved them and we got lots of comments saying, oh, I'd love to see more, do you know that way? So went and brought the model again. Hold on, I get him. Huh? He's a very, top, he's a very willing top. model. He wasn't a willing model at all. So back came the suit, the short and the tie, okay? So just because some people joining us today maybe didn't watch last week's class, right? So this is something that you could do maybe if you're going to a wedding, if you're going to a graduation, a dance, a night out or even a dinner dance, right? So every pocket on the suit is different. So some people are going to ask me about the measurement of the template that I'm using. You know that way? You would actually have to get the person's jacket and then cut the piece of cardboard to fit it. So this is my template that I'm going to use. It's like kind of a T. And the idea is that the piece of cardboard fits down into the pocket, you see like that. So you'd have to try it, you know what I mean? Because your pocket could be deeper, could be narrower, could be wider and so on. And especially if you're doing it for a wedding and maybe you're doing it for a couple of different men, the granddads, the fathers, the groom, the best men, the brothers, whatever. Again, you'd need to check all their jackets and then write on the back of the template the person's name so that when you deliver them, they know who they belong to. These are really easy to make. And again, I'm going to use like a lot of kind of garden material here today so that they're going to be inexpensive to me. So we're going to hang Tom back up again there now. Jimmy, he's very quiet today. Very isn't quiet. He? Very quiet. So I have my piece of cardboard. So what you need is a glue gun. You can actually use florist glue. By the way, the glue gun, it is florist glue that I have in it. But you could go into your local florist and they'll sell you like floral glue if you want to use that instead. It's actually quite hard to buy this in at the moment into Ireland because of Brexit, because it is a UK product, okay? Now, what am I going to use? We had some Cianotis out of the garden. We have said to you a couple of times, Deirdre Cianotis is always a lot later flaring than say everybody else's, right? And there's so much we can do with the Cianotis between our Dorit's or even using it in our flare arrangements. I've even once used it in a wedding bouquet. So I'm just cutting off a couple of the little flare heads there. The other thing I'm going to use is a little bit of the Silver Sussex. So I'm just cutting the Silver Sussex into a couple of little sprigs there. And um, I also have a little bit of Nick grass. And I kind of fancy that if I had that coming out the pocket and it was kind of going over to one side, we'll see, I'll make it up as I go along. And I'm also going to use a couple of little sprigs of lavender. The scent of the lavender is just beautiful. Now again, for anybody watching, use stuff that you have growing in your own garden, right? So everybody watching here, well, hopefully you know the name of the stuff that's grown in your garden. So put it in the comments here and ask me, would such a thing do, would such a thing do, would such a thing do? If we do miss your question, I go back to all the questions at night time and I respond to everybody individual. So I will get back to you, you know that way? So just post your question up there. Or again, if there's something that you would like me to demonstrate, I can't promise I'll always be able to do it, but I'll do the best I can. So what I'm gonna do first, I just have sticky paper here, but it's only sticky because there's glue on it, okay? It was just normal paper, but I just rest the glue gun down on it. I have two glue guns here, just in case one packs up. But this one has its own little stand, but we've obviously lost the stand off this one. So just in the top part of the T-junction, okay, here, I'm just going to put on some glue and just let it kind of dry out a little bit. So that's just kind of a tip with you. Do you know, dear, I just need a glue stick here. This, oh, this one will come out for me. You feed the glue sticks into the back of the gun, okay? So just putting the glue on, and then the idea is that we kind of like let it dry a little bit, okay? So just kind of put it on there. Don't glue straight onto hot boiling glue, all right? And then I'm just going to get little bits of the rosemary, little bits of the silver Sussex, and I'm just going to place them down on top of the cardboard, okay? So some of it is going to stick out a little bit over the edges, which will be nice, okay? And some of it will kind of come down a little bit lower, so they kind of hang over the pocket. I can't hold this up, because obviously I have to let everything settle, do you know that way? So you just have to bear with me for a couple of minutes, okay, until it kind of dries out a little bit. 
And that's why I'm always kind of like skeptical about doing small intricate work. Be very careful with your fingers when I'm like if you copy what I'm doing here. But um because you'll burn the fingers off yourself. And I'll be saying the Hail Mary and the Our Father in French, like not just in Irish, okay? In French, because it is hot boiling glue. But um, I'm always kind of skeptical about doing uh, bridal work or small kind of intricate work, you know, that way on the live classes, because I really need you to be up close and personal and be able to see everything in detail. Where when we're doing the professional courses, like with module three, every part of every bridal bouquet, every bridal accessory, like Deirdre comes in with two or three cameras from different sides and videos it, and then I redo it again and we redo it again to make sure that everybody can see exactly the detail that's included. So that's what I have done there so far. See the way it's just a little base of foliage and it's well kind of dried out now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer of glue on top of that, but not towards the outside, it's just kind of in the middle area. And this will also help to kind of like settle everything that's there. And now I'm going to get a couple of the little Ceanotus heads, right? So these are the little flowers that I just cut off, okay? And I'm gonna stick them in there randomly no particular pattern i am going to use more glue head glue in a second for gluing other flares on so just randomly putting these on wherever i kind of feel or think that it's needed okay and as i said i might kind of could do it a little bit more glue but i'll be back to it in a second like i'm not finished with it so we'll just add a few more in there sticking to me nails and all it is but these are really really easy to do and for anybody kind of like starting off you're probably better off using uh, the tube of cold glue it'd be safer and it'd be easier for you to use as well the other option that you can do is you can put the glue straight onto the stem just the glue has settled here and i just wanted to get one more in there okay now again a little bit of a blow Dear just always telling me I'm a big blow, I am. I'm just going to let that settle. So while that's drying out, again, I just want to explain about our free conditioning and treatment course that we have available for you. So you know we find if you're interested in flowers and you're purchasing flowers kind of locally or in your local flower shop, but even from the wholesalers, because this is a professional program, okay? So we have put together an online program covering over 60 different varieties of fresh flowers and foliage. It gives you their botanical name, the common name, the meaning of the flower, do you know that way? The availability, like what months it's available, it's peak season, what it's suitable for, weddings, funerals, flower range and hand tied bouquets. What other flowers it can work well with, and then the treatment and conditioning. That's basically Case Flower School's top tips: how to condition them flowers to extend the longevity and get as long as possible out of them. Now, if you sign up to that program, you'll have access to it for six months. It's completely free; won't cost you a penny. No obligation to continue it. And then there'll be an index with all of the flowers and foliages listed. So if you get an order in to work with peonies and you want to get them open, you'll find the answer if you get an order for hydrangeas and you're wondering how can i prolong them do you know the way how can i make them last longer look it up in the index if you get um a question about orchids you know the way what kind of conditions it likes again look up the flare in the index skip into it and you can watch that tutorial now while i was yapping away there okay these are just the cobwebs of glue this is what it's looking like so far. So it is coming together. Sorry, so, somebody's just asking, you know, how did they get that tutorial? Oh, I suppose, very good question. Just say in, in the comments there, give us the link. I want the link, I'd love the link. Link, 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 link. Say anything, just use the word link. And then later on this evening, I'll respond to everybody and I'll give you the link. There's no problem at all. And you're more than welcome to it, by the way. So next I'm going to add in a couple of little Veronicas, you know what I mean? And I just kind of find the shape of these um, will complement the um, sea notice and obviously the colour of them as well. So I'm just going to put the glue on the stem of the Veronica and then I'm going to glue a little bit of it in here. And then I'm going to get another one to come out the opposite side. This is colour first. And really and truly, you can add absolutely anything at all. Like ivy would be beautiful in this, you know. Or if anybody in their garden has any of the Escalonia, and it probably has the little pink flower on it, you know the way. I know you could be watching this at a different time. You could be watching it on the replay. But um, again, anything will look well. Now this is my, um, we call this Nick Ross. You know, in September, when all the kids go back to school and we'll all get the letter to say the kids have, an, or there's an epidemic, of head lice in the school, treat all your kids. But well, this green here has little seeds on it. It is a nits, by the way, right? 
So I'm just going to put this here and I'm just going to add it in. And the idea is that it's going to flow, hopefully, over to one side. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on top here. You go through quite a lot of glue, by the way. And glue is expensive, just to be aware. So a little bit of glue in there. Now be very careful with this. Okay, I'm just going to place it down there, nice and gentle. There we go. Okay, some of them will fall off, but I don't mind. I'm kind of tapping it so that my French doesn't come out. Just kind of tapping it gently. And just let that settle. I can't hold it up straight yet because I just need it to dry. But the whole idea is that when he's wearing this, that this will go over to one side. Now, if I'm hugging into him tonight, tonight, Deirdre, I hope that light doesn't nits jump. Be going in your... nits better not jump into my hair tonight. They're not nits, by the way. And the next thing I'm going to add then is another couple of the little sea notice heads on top of that, just to kind of bring the purple more to the centre. So again, another double glue. Just sometimes with the glue gun, you need to give it um, a little bit of a push with the glue stick just for it to come out a little bit faster. There we go. Just when I added the other one, it just needs to kind of like warm up and get sorted. So just down here. And again, we get our little uh, sea notice heads. Just cutting the stems short. I think I'll just kind of like stick them straight on there. These are beautiful. Now you're probably wondering about them lasting. As you can see there, it hasn't taken me any length to make one, do you know that way? So again, this could be done the morning of the event or the day of the event. But what you could do is you can place it in your fridge, okay? If you wrap this up lightly in cling film, okay? And place it, you know what I mean? Kind of like seal it up with cling film, but very gently, and then place it in your fridge. It'll, um, it'll be absolutely perfect. It'll be great and well. Just undo the cellophane that night, this cling film, and um, it'll be perfect. I'm just gonna lift up this nick grass a little bit. Just get another little dab of glue in there. I just wanna stick another one of the Veronica's. Glue gun is acting up. That's why I always have two glue guns, just in case this happens over ground. And then we'll come in here under the grasses, get this one kind of sliding in there. That's coming out onto the same side. Now again, I just need this to settle, so I have to talk this for a few minutes. So again, are we seeing the shares there, Deirdre? There is actually, the in fairness, up? a lot of people are sharing that today, so that's great. So I want plenty of thumbs up, okay? I want plenty of shares. I want plenty of interaction. Are you letting us all know what the weather is like around the country, okay? Or even if you let us know, are you going anywhere nice on your holidays? Or have you anything exciting planned? Or what's Santa going to bring the kids? Tell us something, do you know what I mean? Interact with us, that we're not just talking to ourselves. And this is what it's looking like so far. So now I think we need to bring the model back in again. Do I we? think so, yeah. So off you go. Actually, I'll just slide it in his pocket and then I'll bring him in. Yes, he likes this one, Deirdre. It's actually quite dark against the, the jacket, I suppose, the dark purple. Do you know that way? But still, it oh, does no, look it's lovely. quite well. Yeah, no, it is. And you it's can lovely. see then your grass coming out to the Do you know, actually, side. like looking at it, like um, when the sea notice is not on flare, thistles. Thistles would be perfect, or yeah. lavender. Yeah, that's lavender it is, it's lovely, gorgeous. yeah. But again, like, I just did the purples. I was thinking of the purple of the tide, you know, that's sort of yeah. thing. Well, it was the only tie I could find. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Liz, listen everyone, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you do have any questions, post your questions in the comments. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like, don't forget to interact. And join us next Wednesday again for another free live class with the girls from Case Flower School. Thanks for joining us.